Welcome to my channel, Electra Ladyland. I'm just doing a bit of a random AF, jumping back in and just trying to get a bit of a general gauge. So what's coming up is movement. All right, so I've got triple camp clarification on movement from other decks. So something is flowing, something is beginning to flow or you may have had to deal with a sudden or a gradual change because because the river can be torrent but it also can be very still so i'm not sure the speed of the energy at the moment or the intensity so let's find out from my um which is familiar rune oracle i've got the independent cat nice getting out there throwing out new ideas getting a feel for your projecting your own ideas and energy into something and being very industrious about it. So that's the busy bee. So the, the crux about the bee energy totem is the bee puts a lot of time and energy into something and it only at the very end does it get to harvest. It goes from nectar to nectar and it goes on its travels. It does move around and it, it plays a vital role in pollination of our trees and our food source the bee is one of the totems on my channel which represents the concept of god as well as the earthworm we cannot exist without them so our focus really does need to be on save the bees all right so you may be saving something that is really really hard work this this totem works is about hard work something here has been really hard work and you've done it alone i've got the um i've got the cat spirit here you've done it alone and you've been really independent about it all right so it's something that you're putting energy into this is my card for putting energy this is my age of aquarius card but this represents the fibonacci sequence so that is the natural structure flow of life in sacred geometry that is the essence of nature and everything is expanding in this spiral so this independent movement is gaining momentum and that's why i'm feeling a bit excited all right it may not be something new because the moon represents new paths and sort of new subtle energies but it's in reverse here yeah it could have been something dear to the heart that you've been working through number seven indicates something has matured here possibly even completed but the cups means that it's dear to the heart yeah you've been working on this for quite some time yeah I've, I'm, I'm i'm getting a lot of watery energy through and it's probably from the scorpius full moon which is on the bottom the gravity door that's the gravity door of perception which means it's been in the atmosphere between sort of seven to ten days or so and um and that's still having a real effect so on my channel welcome welcome all new subscribers i noticed that at least 15 people subscribed to my channel after that last video i did about uh, the chaos in the atmosphere that I was um, getting through and um, and that seemed to really you know go a, a little bit viral for me because it's it just really picked up the energy just really picked up and um, so we'll, we'll come on in um, to my channel this is a little bit different I don't f I'm not a follower of astrology fashion so everything in the universe can be measured in sacred geometry in mathematical form it's everything is in oscillation and energy is transferred around the universe using Einstein's theory of relativity, E equals MC squared. And um, I am a qualified mathematician, but obviously I don't need to do that here. Um, I'm just going to make some indicators on why I use sacred geometry to describe energy in the universe, because it just makes perfect sense. So today I'm focusing on the Fibonacci so the Fibonacci is the golden triangle. If you want to pop it in your search engine and have a look. So it's about ratios in its in, and it goes in threes. This indicates ratios in threes. 
So three is a number of collaboration. You might be getting some momentum here on something that you've thrown out into the community and you're getting some response. Like my channel, I reached 100 subscribers. Yay, yay. I've been working on this channel for about 18 months and I finally hit 100. So um, I'm thrilled. And um, so I'm going to look, look at the dragon energy from my um, dragon oracle this is a theme that I've adopted for the year of the wood dragon. And what's popped out is serene is the night, number 39. So there's the three. And nine is universal. So I'm getting a bit of a collective energy here. And this is pride of the archangels. So I don't really go into angelic forces here. I only um, invite Metatron into my space, which is, encompasses all five elements, earth, air, fire, water, and ether. And each ge sacred geometric form represents one of those energies. And Metatron encompasses all the energies. Metatron is the flower of life, the seed of life, the fruit of life, everything. Masculine, feminine, divinity, everything. It's just, I don't individualize. But the pride of the dragons is to give us an indication on the Chinese, Chinese zodiac. So I've got number 39. I'm just going to read it for you now. So this is my theme that will run until December 2024. All right, so I'm just going to read. So Archangel Jeremiah. Sorry, apologies. Jeremiel, dragon, appears to those very sensitive souls who know too well the night of the awake and tells you this. All right, so this is a message from the wood dragon energy. It's about the evening star, which is, as far as I know, Venus. So Venus is a very hot fast moving planet that actually spins backwards so i'm getting some really obscure kind of different energy here so on my channel venus does not represent love it represents it represents hostility it's a very hostile planet so for those of you who are more sensitive than the rest the ones who see the ones who feel the ones who love deeply have no fear in doing that have no fear because you will attract what you put out into this world. Do not fear to care. The ones who lie awake at night and yearn for their home among the realms of angels. Those who yearn to feel normal and to know where they fit in with this world. Remember this. Your soul chose this path that you're on. For it knew you were strong enough. All right, so I'm getting a bit of challenge energy here, but I will pull a card for that. So in these moments when you are awake at night, feeling everything vulnerable and anxious, that the angels and the dragons and the divine are closer than you think. Reach out to them and feel their presence in the silent serenity of the night. Okay? For that is when we are able to hear the divine so clearly. All right, so... In the calm of the night, between the realms of seraphim and earth, it travels on prayers and spells, blessings of those who lie awake at night, weary and overtired from feeling the love, the pain and everything else. This is otherwise known as the night of the awake. All right. So it's this reading is for people that are feeling all the energy right now. And I do have a lot of, I have a lot of independent energy here. And um, just on the bottom, I've got number two. There may have been something starting up. Let's just have a quick look at Indigo. And I've just, I've got a nephew called Indy, so I'm just going to say a shout out. Hi, Indy. <laughs> I've chosen a card, your card, Indigo. All right, so so this is Diniel, angel who protects children, helps reawaken an intuitive childlike nature. So this is water and ether. Yeah, I've got water here, but the ether is probably represented by this current here, this this moving current. Yeah. 
familiar and kind this dragon of crystal form forms at uh, form resides in the mind's eye so the third eye so i'm getting the third eye energy here which sees all yeah you may be seeing more than what you want to or you're feeling more than what you want to in fact the whole earth is probably seeing more than what it really wants to because of warring and and covid really brought out the worst in some people so it's just asking you to be at ease and um so it puts its smile puts you at ease yeah, I felt at ease when I first, I was going to say this card is really beautiful. You feel it with your soul instead of seeing it with your eyes. All right, so I'm getting a real feely, really, really feely sort of energy here. Uh, in probably left over from the Scorpius energy of the full moon. So it has no voice, simply a presence. Why is it so familiar? Have you seen it before? Perhaps a child. So the indigo dragon embodies heavenly intuition. That is not tainted by earthly manners. It is found in youth, but lost in adolescence and awoken by an enlightened adult. All right. So something that's previously lost is possibly coming back around is what I'm getting here. Something I'm getting a bit of a reawakened energy here. And I've got cups. So this is something dear to the heart and just popped out. I'm getting Kundalini fire energy here bit of passion number six something is harmonizing which which is could could arouse or have aroused a bit of passion in you at um one stage and serendipitous on the bottom means um a lucky um accident so something's happened and it's just provided some sheer luck that's what i'm getting here and you're putting energy into this so this is Kundalini, this is passion, and this is my card for putting energy, increasing energy with respect to universal forces. I'm getting ether here. I'm getting the ether energy and um, putting energy into something. And the number eight means progress after change or possible difficulties, some progress. I'm getting, getting some level. All right, so let me just get some clarifiers here i'll just make this a short one because i'm not sure how much data i've got on my phone and i haven't been on here for a little bit so i'm just going to do a bit of an overview for you today because i believe it or not intuition is a muscle and if you don't use it, it gets a bit it gets a bit rusty all right so this is interesting i've got two moon cards in reversed that's got to indicate something there. Two moon cards in reversed. So the moon shows me patience. So we'll look up moon in reverse and let's get let's get a sacred traveler. Let's get a sacred traveler. I'm just going to read you this one while I'm drawing another card. Multitasking here. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of a multitasking energy here. You may have just realized that you just can do multiple things at the same time and you're just going for it. So the moon shows me patience. Wait until the moon is full to do this special wish craft. Stand within your circle outside. Have a good look up at the moon and see the moonlight on your skin. Think about something you feel impatient for or that you really want to have happen now. But you can't quite have yet. This can be frustrating, right? Fogged in. Alright, so that's actually the Taurus. That's the electromagnetic energy field there on that, on that sail. So the Taurus represents an ever um, moving energy. But it also is about protection. So you may be protecting someone here that is... Maybe not really sure which way to go with these moon cards in reverse, or just isn't able to tap into their intuition. I'm getting all this take your time, lie back and rest cards. You may be 
taking a little a little respite from something and in the flow beautiful okay something's really in the flow here something's something's working out something's really working out so i'm not getting any particular divine masculine energy feminine energy here although the cat very much represents to me a sort of femininity there all right we'll just grab a room watching the clouds yeah i mean rest is is a requirement it's not a luxury you, you require it you require sleep and rest for your brain to work properly that's what i'm getting here so if you've been burning the candle at both ends by creating this flow all this opportunity here doing it independently you may have burned your candle and you're possibly not in touch with your intuition here as much as you'd like to be because you then yeah you're getting like just a, a little bit of a burnout energy with this with this here this creature works non-stop for a small amount of harvest it, it just has no expectation so this is a labor of love energy that i'm getting here this could be a relationship job family member project that you've been working on religiously and you're getting some movement with it definitely now but it's been a lot of work is what i'm getting it's been a lot of work and i've got no rune that wants to come something here we are here we are i was gonna say something something's maybe not forthcoming or obscured with this fogged in card there might be something about this that in the past that was a bit obscured. Goodness gracious me, I'll get double confirmation on this hardworking energy. You've really put some hard hours into something here. Okay, so the moon in reverse. I'm going to just do a quick check on that. That's the protagonist energy here. The moon in reverse. There's some energy, this energy picking up. You may have got lucky on something with this serendipity here. I've got water energy, I've got ether energy here. So something's in the flow. Something's definitely moving here. Something is definitely... You may have moved out of something or moved on with something else, but energy is picking up here for possibly something you've been working on religiously quite some time you may be getting some uh you may be getting some some reciprocation if it's a person or a family member or if it's a job you may be getting some recognition but i'm getting a bit of a project feel here something that you've been working on that is really starting to go to fruition is what i'm getting here so i'm just going to do the moon in reverse so blocked vision waiting game okay something you've really had to wait for is starting to gain momentum here and it's made you feel disconnected restless as the sun starts to set uh this feeling is only temporary yeah there's got energy gaining here you may have felt like it was a labor of love and it was just not worth it but i'm getting that you're getting some momentum here now um, this feeling is only temporary. You will be howling in the night. There's something about um, being awake at night here. You may have lost sleep over this. The moon is always there, just like the intuition, even when you can't hear it. So this is making reference to the number two, Sadhistara pelvis, orange light. So if you surround yourself with or go and get something orange or wear something orange, this will enhance the uh, chakra energy uh, uh, is based around the pelvis so you may have had maybe some difficulties could be digestion you could have had some pain uh, down the bottom of your pelvis um, I'm just going to pull one more just to get a little bit of clarification I feel the need just to clear the energy space okay welcome welcome all my subscribers your love frequency is welcome here. I'm happy to have you visit my channel. 
and look at my sacred ge geometric concepts, I do believe that the world is made up of geometry. Spontaneous. Yeah, I've got serendipity and spontaneous there. So something may have just completely jumped out of the woodwork at you and it's it's asking you to be intuitively creative there. So it could be a new opportunity that just went, wow, scooped you up. And yeah, I've gotten the mask to see on the bottom. Something was previously obscured or not visible for you. Or you could have been dealing with someone that was just, uh, you know, a lying, cheating scoundrel here. Masquerade means someone that just hides their true feelings or they hide their agenda. But I'm getting that you're breaking through, maybe breaking through from a situation, a job um, or a relationship where you just weren't getting the recognition that you deserved. Spontaneous. Right. Let's just finish up with just a few words from spontaneous creative intuition. I am one with the universe. Yes, you are. I am one with the power of creation. You are the power. You are the magic. Believe it. I spontaneously and intuitively create what my heart desires. You may be getting in touch with what you really want for yourself, your family and your life. My thoughts and actions are in alignment with my soul. You have drawn this card today to remind you that the life force within. So I've got the Kundalini life force here. The life force within you is the most creative force on earth. At heart of ev at the heart of everything, the same creative force and potential exists. You are part of one universal soul and are energetically connected to the eternal light of creation. Beautiful. All right, so that's just um, a message from the dragon archangels and anything that you believe in to remind you that you are the essence, you are the soul. You are part of it, you are live and breathe it, and no one can take it away from you. All right, so I'm just looking at my cards and I'm getting a lot of sort of greeny blue. Yeah, I'm getting it like aqua, aquamarine. That's the color that I'm getting through to get yourself a bit of that. All right, so that's all I have for you. Everything in the universe can be measured in sound hertz frequency. The hatchling. Okay, so something is being hatched here and it could be one of your ideas or a collaboration, but something new is hatching here. Number five says it's for good or for ill, but I'm getting an over overwhelming sense that it's independent and you've worked hard for it and it's going your way. All right, so that's all, all I have for you. Um, go in love, go in peace.